I'm excited to show you how easily you can make my healthy and incredibly satisfying gluten-free chicken nachos. They're quickly baked in a sheet pan with juicy shredded chicken, black beans, cheese, cottage cheese lime crema, tomatoes, avocado, and green onions. They're full of flavor, but easy on the spice for gentle digestion. It is the perfect base so you can easily add more heat. They will be the hit of any party that all of your guests can enjoy, and they're healthy and filling enough to even be a weeknight meal. We're gonna start by cooking our shredded chicken, and I've just taken two boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I like to pound the chicken to an even thickness so that it cooks evenly in our pan. And I found the easiest way and cleanest way to do this is inside of a plastic bag. So I've just placed each chicken breast inside of a plastic bag, and then I'm going to take a heavy object, which in my case is a rolling pin, and I'm just gonna pound the chicken until it's an even thickness throughout. And once the chicken breasts are pounded, I'll just take them out of their bag and then place them right on top. And using these bags keeps my countertop clean. And another reason I like to pound out the chicken first is to create more surface area for our spices. This also creates more area that's going to get browned when we cook it, which means more flavor. To season our chicken, we're gonna sprinkle on several spices. I'm gonna start with some ground cumin and just lightly sprinkle that over both chicken breasts. And then I'll add some onion powder paprika, which also adds some beautiful color, garlic powder, a little bit of black pepper, and some coarse sea salt. And then I'll just pat this in, flip the chicken over, and repeat on the other side. Now we're ready to cook our chicken. I'm gonna cook the chicken in my enameled cast iron pot. You could easily do this in a pressure cooker or even bake it in your oven. And I include instructions for all three methods on the recipe card on my website. Now that my pot is nice and hot over medium high heat, I'm gonna pour in two tablespoons of some light olive oil. I'll tilt my pan to make sure it's evenly coated. And then I'm gonna lay in the chicken and let it cook for about three to four minutes until it gets golden brown. We'll flip it over until it gets brown on the other side, and then we'll just let it cook for about 20 minutes till it's soft enough to shred. So I'm just gonna take the chicken breast and lay it right down inside the pan. And that sizzle is exactly what we want to hear. And now we'll just let it sit and cook for about three to four minutes or until it's golden brown. Now I'll flip these over and have this beautiful color which equals delicious flavor. And now I'll let these cook for about another three minutes to brown the underneath side. And while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my chicken stock. We'll need two cups of chicken stock. And I love using this better than bouillon because all I have to do is add two teaspoons to two cups of water and stir it in and then I have delicious chicken stock. And then I'm not having to store big cartons of chicken stock in my pantry. Well, it's been about three minutes. I'm gonna check the underneath side of our chicken and it is nice and brown as well. So now we can go ahead and pour in our two cups of chicken stock. And then I'm gonna put on the lid, turn my heat to medium, and then let this cook for 15 minutes. The chicken has been cooking for 15 minutes. So I'll go ahead and take off the lid. Ooh, that looks amazing. And I'll turn off the heat. And then we can carefully remove the chicken breast and I'm gonna put them onto my cutting board. And then now I'll take two forks and start shredding the chicken. Oh, that looks so good. You can see how it's got this nice brown exterior with all those seasonings. And then it's just nice and juicy and white on the inside. And then once the chicken is all shredded, I like to go back in with my knife, just chop it up into slightly smaller pieces, which makes it a little bit more bite size on the nachos. Before we assemble our nachos, we wanna have our cheese all grated. My favorite is to use a Vermont extra sharp white cheddar cheese. I love the flavor as well as the contrast of color. And I prefer to shred the cheese myself because the pre-shredded cheese that you buy at the store has been coated in cellulose, which keeps the little cheese strands from sticking together. I also love to add black beans. So just take a 15 ounce can of black beans, drain it really, really well, rinse the beans and strain them, and then they're ready to go. And then you need a bag of your favorite gluten-free tortilla chips. We're going to arrange our nachos on a baking sheet. And I like to line it with a piece of parchment paper, which just makes cleanup a little bit easier. To assemble our nachos, we're gonna start by laying out a layer of tortilla chips. And you can just roughly arrange them so that you have a flat surface to add your other ingredients to. And then once we have a flat layer of chips, we can go ahead and start spreading on half of our chicken. And we're just gonna sprinkle it right on top. And then we get to sprinkle on half of our cheese. And this is very hashtag satisfying. As that cheese melts, it's going to fuse the chicken to the chips. 
And then we can sprinkle on half of our black beans. And this is gonna add some delicious fiber and protein and flavor. We're gonna make these double decker nachos. So we're gonna add a second layer of our chips. And now that we have our second layer of chips, we can sprinkle in the rest of our chicken. Try and make sure that every chip gets some chicken on it. And then we can sprinkle on the rest of our cheese. And if you think you need more cheese, you have my permission to grate up some more. I won't judge. The more cheese, the better. And then we'll finish it off with some more of our black beans. Well, that looks incredible and it's ready to go into a 350 degree oven for 10 minutes or until the cheese is just starting to toast on top. While our nachos are in the oven, we can go ahead and prep our fresh ingredients. I just took two Roma tomatoes and then finely diced them. And then we'll just take a ripe avocado and then I'll just take a nice big spoon, carefully scrape it out and then repeat for my second avocado. Oh, nothing more satisfying than opening up a perfectly ripe avocado. Now I'll quickly dice these into some nice bite-sized little chunks and then season them with some salt. They look like little turtles. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take a bunch of cilantro and then I'll just roll up the leaves into a little bunch and then finally dice them. And then I'll take one green onion and finally dice it as well. And then I have a little squirt bottle that has my cottage cheese lime crema. And it is made with cottage cheese and Greek yogurt and lime juice. And it is absolutely delicious. And I've included a link in the video description below to my website, which has the recipe and a video showing you how easy it is to make. Now we are all ready for our cooked nachos. Well, these just came out of the oven and wow, they look amazing. You can see that the cheese on top was just starting to toast. That is perfect. And now we can go ahead and load these up with all of our fresh toppings. I'm gonna to start by adding some of the fresh cilantro, which is going to add fantastic flavor and a really beautiful green color. Next, I'll add some of our perfectly ripe creamy avocados. And we can make sure to drop those down in underneath some of the chips. That was a nice surprise. And then we'll sprinkle on some of our fresh tomatoes, which adds another beautiful color and texture and flavor. And then to add some delicious cream to these nachos, I'm gonna squirt on some of my lime crema. And this is just gonna wake up all those flavors. It's kind of like adding frosting to the cake. And then as our sprinkles, we'll finish it off with some of our chopped green onions. Well, that looks incredible. And I must warn you, you may have to fight off a line of people trying to get to these nachos. And it's so fun preparing it all in one pan because it is ready to enjoy. And I am ready to dig in. That is so good. I need another bite. That is an incredible burst of unbelievable flavor. First you get the crunch of the chip and then you get the cheese that's melted on and then you get that really juicy chicken and then you get the smooth creamy avocado and a little bit of tang that comes in from the crema. This takes nachos to a whole nother level and is the party I want to be at. And I love that it's made with clean natural ingredients that are gonna make me feel just as good even after I eat it. And you can serve this to your whole group regardless of any gluten allergies. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today to make this recipe. I've included a link to the full recipe in the video description below, which takes you to my website, gentletummy.com. And I also invite you to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you know someone else who you think would love this recipe, please share it with them. And I cannot wait to have you hang out with me again in my kitchen.